Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Half of It. Yes, it might be a little out of my demographic, but really, what's out of my demographic? Right? <laughs> um, but anyway, it seems like a, a teenage movie about a girl who's an introvert who um, writes papers for people. Um, you know, not very popular, but she runs into a jock who wants to write a love letter for a girl that he likes. Well, evidently, she likes her as well. So they become friends, and we'll see what happens from this fancy love triangle. Now, I picked it because I was looking at all the other movies. It's a 7.0, 13,000 people. So probably nobody's watching this review because 13,740 people have already reviewed it. Imagine how people, how many people have watched it. It's on Netflix, so I'm um, sure you know everybody's getting around to it. But maybe you're iffy like I have been, and you want to know if it's any good. So that's what I'm here to do. Let me get watching it here a little bit, um, find out what it's about, see if it's any different than what we're led to believe, and then ultimately let you know what I think. It's an hour and 45 minutes long, so stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, time to, I uh, want to do a quick check in here, sorry, we're watching a half of it, or almost halfway through it, just thought of that when I read the title, we're up to 51 minute 40 second mark, just under halfway there, but I kind of stopped it here, it's, it's really what it says, so I think her name is Amy, you know, a uh, backwards kind of um, student who is, you know, very good at everything, selling papers, gets uh, hooked up with this, um, you know, jock kind of guy that wants to, you know, um, approach another girl in school, and so she's helping him. He's paying her, and we've seen this many, many times. Um, and you know, she's helping him connect with this girl, and I believe she is also falling in love with the same girl. So it's a slightly different twist. Normally, the girl helping out the guy falls in love with the guy, and they end up together. Um, but right now, I think she's falling in love with the other girl, or has fallen in love, and uh, I think maybe he has feelings for Amy, who's writing this stuff. So it's a little bit of a love triangle going on there. Um, you know, but you could see where it's going, at least it's part of it. I mean, he has, you know, he doesn't have the best vocabulary to be speaking the things that she is saying for him. So she's doing a lot of texting and, and writing letters and it's, you know, about books and art and he has no clue about any of it. Now, she's trying to train him, but he's not really coming along. He can't, you know, he can't speak the way she types. types. So you know what, what's going to happen there. At least, you know, I have my own prediction. So I'm assuming that's too obvious for us. I think, you know, where it's leading us, there's something else has got to happen here because... It is so predictable, and for 13,000 people to say, hey, this is a seven, um, I don't know. Um, but that's just me. I think there's something going to go on here, and we'll see what happens. But I can tell you, I, I like our characters. I like Amy, our lead, our female lead in this one. She's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her in anything before, so <clears throat> I like her. He's okay. He plays the uh, dumb jock role pretty well. Um, and you can see him kind of being, a, he's the nice guy too, he's not the, the, the mean kind of jocks that you've seen in other movies. So, that's where we are. I'm going to get back to it here, like I said, more than halfway left, 53 minutes, so maybe a lot's going to happen that's going to surprise me. But at this point, it's kind of predictable and uh, repetitive from other movies that we've seen in the past. So it's small twists. Um, but let me get back to it, we'll see where it goes from here. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of the half of it, and uh, I have to say, cute, but predictable. You know, like I, I said, I've seen many of these types before. Small little twists that make it a little bit more modern. Um, and uh, and that's it, you know, plot, plot wise, sorry, plot wise. I think the, the best thing about this is uh, Leah Lewis and Daniel Diemer. There are two main characters. Um, Leah Lewis is funny, so she's in this, and uh, like I said, I, I've never seen her in anything before, and I verified that by looking at IMDb. 
And oh, I found that like in this, they show her singing twice. And I'm like, man, if she could really sing like that, she's pretty talented. Because, you know, sometimes they sing and it's not really them. No, I don't know if it, I'm sure it was really her. Evidently, she was like a very good singer as well. So she's like the triple threat. Good actor, actress, um, very good at singing and can dance. I don't know too much about that, but what I did check when I was doing some small research that she, I think, was on season four of The Voice. So she's a pretty good singer, and I do like her, um, at least in this movie. I liked, uh, I liked, I don't know, it's she's got a, she's got an interesting voice to go with her look and the way that she speaks, if that makes any sense. Um, so. Um, and, you know, and she's got that uh, chip on her shoulder type attitude in the movie. So, I liked her. Um, Daniel, I thought he, he played it pretty good, like I said, in the role that he was in. So that's really why you're probably going to watch this movie, at least in my eyes. Now, maybe you're not like me and you haven't seen the old um, man behind the curtain pulling the strings to, to make love happen kind of movie, you know. Um, can't buy me love is, is one. Those types of things, you know, and they're talking into person's ear, telling them what to say, all that stuff. That's what the plot is all about. And it creates a, you know, hey, I love her, she loves me, he loves him, all that kind of stuff. Love triangle, and, and you gotta guess how's it all gonna end. But that's really the plot. So that's been done many times, many ways. It's slightly modernized here. But uh, the reason you watch this is just for the actors to see how good they are. Um, and like I said, I think she's worth the watch um, and, and made it enjoyable. So, there you go. That's all I got for you. There's not much else to it. Um, if you check it out, let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. What would you think of her? Um, what would you think of him? Um, that's it. I'm sorry, man. Not much more to tell. I think I told it all. <laughs> so, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, tell all your friends and continue to come back here at Kimmel's Irish Pub. Alright, see you next time.